Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a special reading for you because you know on this channel it's all about growing, it's all about manifestation, it's all about doing the work. So let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So Aquarius, the question that I asked the cards off camera was why did Aquarius meet this wretched soul? Okay, so why did you meet that crazy twin flame karmic soulmate negative you know low vibrational person why Aquarius if that is how you feel about the person that you've met then maybe this is the reading for you if it is not then you know of course um these two cards came out two of wands and the nine of cups so this is why you met this person this talks about discernment it talks about making the right decision because the wrong decision if you if you don't use discernment can lead you down the karmic road or the unhealthy path or the unhealthy road it talks about um not making decisions from an emotional state or out of hopes or wishes maybe not making a superficial decision also because the nine of cups is about you know fame acclaim beauty fun fashion eating drinking being merry so maybe something about discernment also you know uh, maybe not making a decision uh, this is why you met this person because this was a attracted into your life so that you can learn how to make better decisions um learn how to use all your senses to discern if you are being you know a part of some type of trickery some type of um if you're being sold a dream This is why you met this person because it it's supposed to really help you listen to your intuition. The first thing that comes to mind when you see, when you touch, when you shake hands with, when you have conversation with, that's the thing you need to go with your first mind. OK, not your second, your 10th or your 100th mind, but your your first mind. You know, if you knew when you first met this person that they were you know kind of wretched in their soul you know or they were a part of something that just didn't resonate with you or you had to make a whole lot of concession for them like well they don't have a car well they do have five children well they if if you have to do that it's probably not the person for you because you'll continuously be doing that down the line in the entire relationship and then Two years in, three years in, ten years in, you'll be yelling, oh, they're so karmic and toxic. Well, you knew that when you first met them. So you met this person so it can help you hone in on your intuition to make better decision. Okay. Um, why did Aquarius meet this wretched soul? Why did Aquarius meet this person? Why did Aquarius meet? It looks like they could have been a soulmate too. Karma, a uh, karmic soulmate, not the best soulmate. Let's see. A lot of, some of you, I knew she was coming out. The Queen of Wands, the Page of Wands, Queen of Wands, the King of Swords. Stop, you can't change anything or you can't manipulate the energy or you can't do anything to make someone open up to you open up to the idea of having a relationship with you open up their heart change their mind about you change their standard standard of how they want to live or who they want you can't make anybody you know um you can't change or, or be the authority on on uh, them wanting to be in a relationship so you met this person so it can help you you attract this person first of all you know that was your the vibration that you were on um you attracted somebody who might have been like narcissistic closed off to love has high standards if they do settle it will be later in life and they're gonna have high standards for their person they have high standards for themselves um they may be a bit superficial um they could even have felt like it may even told you that they wanted to be like a bachelor for life 
or bachelorette for life. You met this person because you were trying to manifest something real, trying to ground this energy that you had with this person. This look, this is what you were trying to do: ground sexual energy, sexual chemistry, or attraction. The sex may have been good. They are sexy. You're sexy. Maybe you were trying to make something out of nothing. Um, it was like an uphill battle, and also you may have given yourself over a little too quickly okay so then that was definitely an uphill battle because that was maybe a strike against you especially to the king of swords because you know he is very strategic um this is a forward thinker this is a um someone who's 10 steps ahead of you just because you don't feel like they picked up on it oh they picked up on it you know so you may have met this person so you can learn how to really um, present yourself how to represent yourself you know um, it doesn't have to always be about maybe sexual activity excitement fun or being the fun girl or fun guy or doing anything to maintain the relationship you got a lot of wands cards so it's like you know it's definitely something that you attracted to you okay and it's something that you need to learn you need to fix something in you because you're attracting this type of energy and then when the energy comes to you you need to have discernment with the two of wands in terms of you know oh this isn't good for me or this is not going to lead me to the road of you know fulfillment wow I need, let me see yep fulfillment nine of cups okay so some of you you know where you want to be you know you want you know white picket fence husband children kids or wife this and that and a third or you want somebody good but you keep deciding on people who you have to make a lot of concession for you have to you know look over the shortcomings you have to look over the pitfall you have to look over to the big gaping hole you know in their chest where the heart should be <laughs> you have to look over that you know and you know you keep looking over that and then you kind of work backwards and say well they're karmic or they're toxic or they're whore or they're well i think you knew that initially but you thought it was something that you could change or something that would change or if you loved it or cared for it enough, you would get your fulfillment. Nope, this person got fulfillment or these people get fulfillment from you, but they're not offering you what you want. All right, let's see what else. Uh, why did Aquarius meet this person? Or why did Aquarius meet this person? The Nine of Wands and the Hierophant. So... You were being guided, you know, uh, this is soul school, spirituality. So it's like, maybe you had to learn some soul lesson here. Nine of Wands. This is a lesson of, so the Nine of Wands talks about being a wounded warrior. You don't always have to be the person, you know, it doesn't always have to be a fight or an uphill battle in a relationship. You don't have to remain in situations that are taxing or toxic or drama filled. You also m need to learn how to look at your past experience and garner wisdom, guidance from it. If something feels like the last relationship or there's a trigger from the last bad relationship then it's, it's possible that you might need to do a little bit more research and maybe even separate yourself from this because either it's that you haven't healed or that this person is just really like your ex you attracted another person with a, the same person with a different face you know so um you met this person because of learning to be resilient. 
some of you what is this spirit okay because they're giving another message what is this okay all right so it is that all right some of you need to learn how to be resilient and fight for what you want because you may have met someone who you were going through soul school and learning about yourself and they were too you are like-minded individuals but there may have been interjection interference interception in the relationship um but you if you love this person if you know that there is something between the two of you you might have to fight your position you know you can't just give up walk away because it's a little hard because the hierophant talks about bringing two very different people together you know and that is a, a challenge that is adverse or adversity and that's what the five or the hierophant is about let's see um you got a car that fell on the floor he had the nine of pentacles so you need to learn how to be vulnerable open up um be vulnerable in the sense of you know fighting for somebody doesn't i mean it does put you in a place of vulnerability because you're you're showing them that you're willing to go that length for them um you're willing to take that road but what else You may have met this person because they want you to realize that maybe even through the tough times, you have to learn how to fight through this. You got to learn how to continue. You can't just keep taking breaks and giving up and starting over because the relationship has no progression. And for some people, that is, you know, the new start always is like starting from the beginning. So they may even treat you like, you know, we're starting over again or like you're a new person or like it doesn't matter. Um, something about being vulnerable, opening up, learning how to fight your position. Um, so we're in this dating game, okay? Whether you want to accept it or not. The dating game is relatively new. You know, the dating game, it might be 60 to 70 years old. It's not some people even dated as 50 years old because it was a time where you became of age you found your person after high school or at a certain age you got married and, you, and that was your life you know until something happened you know death or um something you know adverse grossly adverse to the point where you had to divorce and that was uh you know a big deal but now we have this dating game where you become of age and Men and women can just choose who they want to sleep around with, have fun with, date, maybe even eventually get married. So if you're in this dating game, which we all are because things have changed, um, you got to learn how to fight your position, Aquarius. It can't always be that you walk away in, at the first stint of um, adversity or you you feel like um someone's putting you in, maybe in third parties and it could be that you know you got to know when to hold them when to fold them point blank period especially in this dating game because nobody is no one person most times especially if you're an attractive individual or you're outgoing you're not really 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 single meaning there is not anyone communicating with you in, in hopes that you know, they can have a relationship with you. Um, you could be single. Yes, on paper, you don't write that you're married, but you may have, you may be conversing with dating four to five people. You may not be not taking any of them serious, whether you're a woman or a man, but you still have these people in your energy. And now here comes the Aquarius in your life and you're, you're still conversing with dating these other four to five people you're going to have to get in the ring, get in the fight, be up for it. You got to knock the four or five other individuals off the block, you know, and that is what the dating game is. And nobody wants to accept it. Everybody wants to believe that, you know, I met John Monday, so we should be married by Friday, you know, or I don't understand why, you know, I'm not 
you know, John's number one um, person in his life or why John went out with me on Wednesday and then, you know, he didn't want to hang out on Friday. It might be because he's on another date. And if you feel like John is somebody you want to actually be with, you got to get in the ring. You got to be up for the competition. And that's what these, some of these cards are saying here for some of you. Now, granted, competition, a healthy level of competition is good. Healthy level. Now, if you're just toying with someone and putting them in the, in a rotation, in a string of women or men to deal with, um, people, some people don't want to deal with that and they have all right to exit stage left and leave. And if that's something that you are a part of Aquarius, you just want to, you know, you don't ever see this changing. You don't see this person choosing you. You don't see them ever maturing or their relationship maturing. That's okay to leave. But it's saying that some of you are leaving a little bit too soon and a little bit too often to where it may be reading to the other person that you don't even want anything serious. Or there's no cultivation of any longevity. Sorry. Yeah, it's like all these new starts. New start, no progression. Breakup, new start, no progression. Um, walking away in the face of adversity. Yeah. Um, some of you could have been dealing with somebody who is married, is already coupled. You knew that. From the beginning so some of you met certain people because you were supposed to rightfully discern what they were about in the initial meeting you did and you decided to play ball anyway you know where that gets you um and then for some of you you get with certain people at the first stint of adversity or there's somebody else or there's you know, some discord, you're out. You might need to learn how to fight through it. Because your, excuse me, your competition could be fighting through it. You got a few cards that fell on the floor here. Let's see. Yeah, there might have been somebody here that was wearing a mask you know, personifying, just faking and pretending like they were going to give you something. Again, rightfully decide discernment, right? You've separated yourself from someone, you're healing your heart, and you, you just might have, you needed to do that soulmates. Yeah, you, you do have some soulmate connection contract that was here. Somebody is definitely missing you big time. Um, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories, or someone's wanting to make new memories. Separation, somebody's missing you, sadness again, thinking about you, or this is what you're doing. Some of you are just going to live your life, move on, living in this, you know, in the moment, just being happily single, time with friends. This is also, this also reads as if, you may have met a person because, again, back to what we talked about, jumping into something a little too fast, trying to make something out of a big old nothing. You you may have, you might need to learn how to slow it down, you know, continuously date. Just because you met who you think is Mr. Right, don't throw everybody else, you know, out of the window. You know, learn how to date. You know, be happily single, live in the moment. And some of you were just like, you try to take, situations as far as they can go way too fast you might need to slow down live in the moment yes they're nice yes they look nice but i don't think you need to run. and some of you again we, just, we talked about that too girl with the snake empath and narcissist um paradigm so you were being char charmed used you needed to put boundaries up back to rightfully discerning you may have been dealing with somebody who's narcissistic who just didn't want what you wanted, but they were willing to play the game, you know, to act as if, because we, do, we didn't have mask here. You were just being charmed. You, you need to learn when you are being sold a dream. 
Okay. Um, and that is charmed. So you met this person, Aquarius, firstly, because you need to learn how to discern at, at the initial stages, you know, and then you also need to learn when you are being charmed, listen to your intuition. Um, also always be asking yourself, is this going to get me or this relationship going to get me to my fulfillment? You know, what type of fulfillment am I, I going to get out of this? You know, is this going to be mutually beneficial? Um, I think most of us are at an age where we just know and sometimes we'll act like we don't know or we'll act as if, you know, um,